Howdy y'all, my name is Sohan, thanks for joining us today. Today we are going to learn how to put away our tea set. This is the last thing you do when you serve tea, in the same way that before you serve tea you have to wake up your teaware. The last thing you do can be said to be putting your teaware to sleep, rinsing it all, getting it all clean, drying it off. This is a really important step. It seems kind of intuitive and maybe a little bit trivial, but it's actually very, very crucial to having good form and a good tea practice because when you come to make tea, you don't want your teaware to be sitting dirty, stained, full of leaves. You want your teaware to be clean and pristine, just like it was brand new, ready to use. It's such a satisfying feeling to come back to a nice, clean tea set. So, we have just finished drinking some lovely Su Mao Feng green tea. And now we're gonna go ahead and get it all cleaned up for next time. So we've got our Shui Fang here. This is our, just an empty bowl that we use to dump our waste leaves and our waste water in. So when you're trying to get the leaves out, you don't need to leave the lid on the gaiwan. The purpose of the gaiwan lid or the teapot lid is to keep the leaves in there and we're trying to get the leaves out. So we're gonna take the lid off our gaiwan and I do an initial pass dry the wet leaves in here without any water, just give it a dump. Really straightforward. And all these little leaves are left on the inside. And that's when we take our water, which is still hot, still boiling hot, and rinsing first the lid. You get a little bit of leaf matter stuck on the lid and you wanna get that off. So you're gonna go ahead and rinse the lid like so, and then go all the way around the edge of the gaiwan and the purpose is to rinse those leaves that are stuck to the side all into the bowl itself. And then I'm gonna give it just a little swirl and one smooth motion, pouring it out. And there you go, nice and clean. If you don't get it all the way on the first try, you can rinse it again, or you can use your tweezers or a little uh, leaf cleaning tool to get them out it's not good form to stick your hands inside your vessel, so try not to do it. I won't tell if you do, if you're serving tea by yourself, but it's not good form, don't do it when you're serving guests. So, we have got the leaf matter out of our vessel. Now let's go ahead and rinse it all the way because there's gonna be tea drying and staining the exterior and the interior of this vessel, and we don't want that. We want it to be nice and clean. So, again, just like when we wake up our tea set, we're gonna make ghost tea starting with the lid, getting it nice and hot and wet. And part of the reason we use hot water, one is because it sterilizes everything, another is that it dries quickly. If the water's hot, then it'll dry off right away. And so now that we are taking the gaiwan apart piece by piece, we're gonna dry each piece individually. So I'm gonna take my cha jin, my cloth, I'm going to grasp the inner and outer edge of the lid with my fingers through the cloth and I'm going to roll it through like so, so that the interior and exterior surfaces are all getting rubbed and dried and now it's clean. I'm just gonna set this aside here. Now I've got my bowl, same deal. My bowl is full of water, I'm gonna dump it out. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in my gong dao bay and I'm gonna take my cloth I'm going to grasp the inner and outer edges of my gaiwan bowl, and I'm going to rotate around. Again, I want to get here, this bottom part will get stains on it if I don't clean it. So this part also needs to get cleaned. Even though the tea doesn't touch it, people tend to forget about the outside of the vessel. Every part of the vessel needs to be cleaned. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this guy out. Nice, warm, dry. Gaiwan bowl, and then finally the saucer. Can't forget about the saucer. It's important too. Again, same process, grasping the inside and the outside, rubbing, drying, cleaning, getting those stains off the underside of the saucer. I see one there, I'm gonna like spot clean it. Yeah, that's clean, it's clean. That's our gaiwan, done. Now let's go ahead and do our gong da bei and our cups. This is a little bit simpler. I'm gonna go ahead and get my cups in position. I'm gonna use 
this little bit of water here, fill them up. And as soon as this is empty, I clean this first. As soon as a vessel is empty, you wanna hit it while it's still warm and wet. And again, the process is exactly the same. I'm gonna grasp the interior and exterior edges, uh, interior and exterior surfaces of the Gongda Bay. And I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna clean the whole thing inside and out. And this is really important for glass because glass will get spots if you don't dry it. And you know, it's not enough to just rinse it, you wanna dry it as well because you don't want those water spots on there because glass is so beautiful when it's nice and clean and when it's got water spots. It just detracts hugely from the beauty of the glass itself. So get that nice and clean. Good. Got this guy. And now our cups, I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with a little more hot water to make sure they're nice and full. And again, that same process that we did at the beginning, that little funky chowjo spin. The purpose is to get every, I'm gonna do it slow for y'all. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just spinning the cups in each other. This thing has done more than 360 degrees. It has become completely wet on every surface. And again, grasping the inner and the outer surfaces. Don't touch it with your hands. You just cleaned it. I'm gonna do it with my other cups. And because this part is actually cleaning and sterilizing, and again, getting that out, outside surface is really important because that's where people's lips touch. So you want it to be sterile with boiling water, and then you want it to be wiped clean. So, and because of that, when I was waking up the cups, the last one just got a little swirl. That's because I was just trying to warm everything. Everything was already clean. This time, we're actually trying to sterilize things, so I'm gonna take that next to last cup, clean it, dump the water from the last cup into it, clean that one, that way all of our cups are getting the same treatment and getting cleaned on all possible surfaces. Getting foot, get every little nook and cranny. You don't want stains on your teaware. you want everything to be nice and clean. And I will make a note that when you're using a Yixing teapot or any kind of unglazed zisha, purple sand clay, you don't need to wipe the interior. You do that for a gaiwan, you can't really wipe the interior because a teapot's really difficult to get into. So when you do this process and you're using an unglazed teapot, you don't need to wipe the interior or even the exterior of the teapot. You're going to douse it with boiling water, make sure the leaves are all out, douse it in boiling water, get it clean, empty, leave the lid off, let it dry, it will dry very quickly. Everything's dry, everything's clean. Our tea service is ready for the next time that we want to serve tea. My name's Sohan, thank you so much for joining us. And, uh, oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe down my chapan here too, just to finish the process. Just wanna give it a nice little wipe down with your cloth. And so, this is how we finish serving tea. So, again, Thank you all for joining us. My name's Sohan. We're gonna be making a lot more of these videos, so you can uh, tune in next time and join us. We're gonna talk about the different categories of tea, what makes one tea the type of tea that it is, and not another. Thank you all for joining us, and uh, stay tuned for more Gong Fu Cha education.